If you've ever received an email template and you wanted to uh, replicate that email template, you can actually do it right inside your email template designer. All right, so what I'm going to do is I want to replicate this email template right here. And I'm going to go to Home. All right, and so anyway, I'm on the home of my Dynamics Pro, and I'm going to click on um, Email Templates because I want to create an email template that looks just like this. So I'm going to click on Email Templates. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, next, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on Add Email Template. Then I'm going to click on Advanced Editor Blank because I want to um, um, build this from scratch. You can also really just kind of look uh, right here and you can kind of notice it looks a little similar. So you could use this template right here. So I'm going to click on it. And it's very, very, very similar because you have an image right here with an image with some border. You have You have a, so I know that this is an image, so if I click and hold it down, I know that this is just one large image, so I don't have to recreate this part. This is just an image. And then here's where it starts with a button. Right here has a button, so I could just move this button underneath the picture, like it does right here. And then from there, I could pretty much recreate the rest of this, because this is just text. So I'm just gonna use this same template. And you could just go down through all the different uh, samples down here. And really, you could just uh, insert, if you'd like any of these, you could actually just go in there and recreate it. So we're going to use this one because it's really, really similar. All right, so this one is called Baskerville. So we're going to name the template. Baskerville. <clears throat> Alright, so it's going to load up the email template designer. And the first thing I am going to do is I notice that this logo right here for Lakeland Community Theater is part of this big image. So this is where the image is going to be. So I don't really need Lakeland community theaters logo right here because it's actually on the image so I'm going to I'm going to go over here and you'll notice that this is one whole, whole row so this is like one little module and then this is the whole row so I can go ahead and get rid of this whole row right here so I'm not going to click on the center part I'm going to go out to the side row and I'm going to click on it now you'll notice that there's a little trash can I could duplicate this or I could hit the delete I'm going to hit delete all right, so now what I'm going to do is I could delete this whole row, but instead I want to change this image right here. So I'm going to click on this uh, module right here. And then you'll notice that over here is a content panel with the content properties over here. So over here I could click this button and I could move, or actually, I could. Uh, change this around, but really I just need to change the image. So I went ahead and I right clicked and I saved the image as, so I've already saved the image. So I'm going to go back and now I'm going to click on this image and change image right here, this button. Next I'm going to, I um, already did upload it, but let's go ahead and delete that out of here. Now I'm going to upload. And I'm going to find my Baskerville image and I'm going to double click on it. Now it's going to upload it into my file manager right here. <clears throat> Next, I want to click on insert once it's uploaded in here. All right, so now it's inserted. So I could auto with it like that, which is really how this is done. Because over here is the background. All right. Next is get your tickets today button. So down here, I can just click on this button 
and then once I click on the button, um, there's this little arrows, which I could just move it. So you see that I can move it up here. <clears throat> and again, it was get your tickets today. So get your tickets today, exclamation point. Okay, and you could change your font. If you highlight this, you could change your font. You do Courier, Georgia, global font. And I'll just leave it at the global font. That's fine. Um, I could also um, change the uh, the size if I want to go, you know, a little bit larger. Right, and in the other video I showed how to add the color picker to your Google Chrome extension. So if I was wanting to make this button gold, I could click on this color picker eyedropper and see what the code is for this gold, which is C4A556. Click it. I'm just going to copy that code. I'm going to go back. And again, I'm going to click on the button. And over here, you'll see the background color of the button. So you see it's blue right now. So I'm going to go ahead, and it has to be pound, and then whatever the color code is. All right. So it looks like the writing right here is white. So I'm going to go back. And the text color right here, I'm just going to click on it. And I'm going to choose the white. There we go. And over here, you can, of course, go to the left, take it to the right, center it up. You can do different line heights. You can do border radius. No radius makes it a square. So it looks like we're more at a square. All right. But now we got to get the link that that way when they click on this button, and it sends them to the link that it does over here. So right here, if I click on it, it will redirect us to app.arts-people.com. So I am just going to copy this. Now, of course, this is an old uh, email template, so now that's been updated. But just for the purpose of this, I'm going to click on it, and then I'm going to. So this says action. What action do you want it to take whenever you click on this button? We want it to send to a URL. Okay. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save Changes. It's probably a good idea that after every single change you make to hit save changes because I've backed out of here plenty of times before by accident. All right, so next now we have this date. So I'm just going to copy this date. All right, and I'm just going to post it right here. So I'm just going to highlight over top of this and then I'm going to right click and paste. And All right, so um, it's, it's um, let's see here. We could just basically highlight it and then select the global font if we want to, highlight it, make it a lot bigger. So let's try 26. There we go. It looks a lot better. We can center it up. We can change the text color to white. Is that what color? No, it was like an orange. All right. Now we could get the exact orange if we wanted to. Let's go ahead and get the exact orange. So we're going to go back and do the color picker. And we're going to hover over the orange and click it. And then this is our color. Let's go ahead and I'm going to highlight this. Click on the text color. Now this is the background color, but you want the text color. All right, so 
you'll notice that there's a custom so you click on the word custom and right here is the color code and I'm just going to paste in the color code there we go now that's the exact color code um, looks like this is white around the button and white around the date so let's go ahead and I'm going to see here I'm going to click right here So on this particular one, this is a background color, 3F, 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 but we want white, all right? So we're going to change this to white right here. So I'm going to click on the content background color, change it to white. Now, this is white writing, so you will notice that that's going to disappear So because it's white. All right. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to maybe click on this and delete this module right here. All right, so looks like if I click on this module, see how much space that there is in between this. There's not a lot of space in between this area right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go right here is the padding, and I'm going to right now it's at 20. So let me just take it to zero. And what we could do is we could, because it's not letting us take away that padding for some reason. So what I could do is I could uh, click on this content panel where it says text right here. And I could slide this right here. And I could copy this. And I could. And delete this out of here. Oops. Now, uh, since I messed up there, what I could do is I could hit this undo button, and then I'll put it back. There we go. All right, so let me go ahead and try this again. Um, I forget what we did with that. But again, we'll just center it up. Global font. We'll do 22. And then again, I don't remember what the orange color was, so I'm going to go back to my color picker. Grab this orange. Copy. Click on the text color. Custom. Go to the little pound sign and then paste in the color. There we go. It looks a lot better. And again, there is still some padding on here, so we could reduce that padding. Also right here, um, this module right here, the button module, that also has some padding, so we could reduce that padding. You just kind of play around with it. There's different options. Could shorten up your button. Again. You can just kind of play around with it until you find uh, find a little uh, amount that you want. So on this one, we need this gray background color. BF. Right. So go back, and on this one, we are going to click on the outside row to get to the content background color. There we go. That turns it to gray. And we need, I'm just going to copy 
this wording, this text basically. All right, so now I'm gonna go back to the content because it says there's no content here, drag from new content panel. So I'm gonna click on the content panel and I'm gonna drag the text until, it doesn't matter whether it's above it or below it. Let, me let go of it. Now I am going to highlight this text that's in there and paste in the text, all right? So it's putting some weird little spacing in there for some reason. Again, we're just pulling it from a different email template. So there could be some um, formatting inside that email that we can't see. All right, so we're just going to make this text just a little bit bigger. Yeah, let's go down to 12. So we'll probably have a 13 or 14. 13 looks about right. All right. So it does look like it has some padding on this one. Looks like there's just a little bit of padding right there. Not too much, but a little bit. And I was going to hover my mouse over these uh, wordings just to see if there's any additional links in there. Um, again, there's not, so I'm going to go to the color picker and I'm going to find out what orange this is. There we go. Copy this orange color. I'm going to go back and this About Baskerville Sherlock Holmes mystery is all orange. So I'm going to highlight this. Gonna go up to the text color, click on it, gonna go to custom, and I'm gonna insert that orange into it. But it looks like it's boldened and maybe just a little bit bigger just because it's a title. So I'm gonna highlight it again, click on bold, and let's go ahead and take it up a couple. Let's get up to 16. All right. And this kind of looks a little bit bold. Now the font could look different because they might have different font on there that we can't see. So you mess around with it, kind of see. Tahoma maybe would be a possibility. Maybe this is all 16. Again, you just kind of play around with it. Looks like you read it better with the 16. Make this one maybe an 18. So you just kind of play around with it a little bit. And then right here, I'm gonna highlight safety updates. And then it looks like my color is still selected there. So I'm just gonna click on it and bolden it. All right. All right, so next it looks like we need a show times and pricing information section. So we could do, again, we could just go ahead and um, let's see here, there's an orange, so I'm going to go ahead and select a different row to add in there, drag it here, and select, hit text, or hit content, throw in some text right here, I'm going to select this row, and I'm going to change it to orange, and again, color picker, grab this orange, copy it, go back, and let's see here, let me change the padding again on there. And I believe it's centered up and it's white. So we're going to click on this. I'm just going to highlight it. There we 
go. And highlight it, change it to white, bolden it, center it up. Select the size. And you can tell it's not the same. You can kind of tell that this one is, they're not the same text, so that's why it looks a little bit different. Um, so let's see here, S, T, P, and I. So let's see if we can find S, T, P, or I. So you notice this T is just a straight line and a straight line down. This is more of a it's more of a Times New Roman. Okay, so that looks a little bit more like it. Actually, it does look like it. Let's go ahead and take it up to twenty-eight. There we go. We're going to copy this next text and we could just add a text module right there All right. and actually we don't want to do that um, let's go ahead and undo that I want to add it in a different row because this is white and then it goes gold right here so let's go ahead and just add a different row so we'll add a single row and we do the content background as white. And then the content. Now it says no content here, drag from content panel. So I'm going to click in content, bring it down. Paste it in. All right, so this is bold, bold. All right, so this one is bold. And it's a little bit bigger because it's a title. So we'll go 16. And this will go over 14. Bold. 14. Or I'm sorry, 16. Fourteen. And we're gonna highlight it and we're gonna change it to black. There we go. That looks a lot more like it. All right, so again, um, different font here, different top font here, different font here. That's gonna look a little bit different. Also do the black over there. And next, uh, Lakeland Community Theater. And we're just going to copy that. And we're just going to go right here. And I'm just going to do content and throw a text right there. Paste it in there. And that's centered. And again, there's some formatting in there that's not compatible with ours, but we can get there pretty close. And I'm go ahead and do the color picker. It's gold. Copy.
And I didn't have that pound in front of it, so you gotta make sure you put that pound in there for the color. And then Lincoln Community Theater is white, and then these other two are blue because they're links. So right here, we're gonna highlight Lincoln Community Theater. Make it white. Let me put the font up just a little bit. Kind of looks good like that. Stay connected. Get it centered up. Let me get the white. Go ahead and do a 20. Bottom padding. This was centered, so let's go ahead and center that out. We got Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So now I just click on this module right here. And then it'll bring up the options to Facebook, Twitter, and then you can select the different options and it shows different um, different icons that you can use. There's all kinds of different ones in here to use. I really like this one with the gold, it really stands out. So, so now, again, it's Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. So I am going to Facebook, Twitter, Instagram is not an option, Pinterest, so I'm just clicking on delete. And then there's LinkedIn. Not sure why it's spacing them like that. Let me go ahead and delete these all out. Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn. I don't know why it's creating that little space right there. All right, I'm not going to spend too much time on that, just uh, so I don't slow up this particular tutorial at the very end. Uh, let's see, if there, is there a privacy? No, there's nothing there. So, um, But it does look like we could add this at the very bottom. social so I'm going to copy the link address right here all I did was right click and then copy the link address go back I'm going to click on the Twitter right here and then just change out okay, let me just click on okay. tweet copy link address or Twitter and LinkedIn right here and now save changes let switch this content background color because up here it should be white there we go that looks good. There we go. Not sure why that's doing that. I 
can do that. Not sure why that's not white either right there, but now if um let me go ahead and click save changes. And right on the outside is a certain type of blue. Um probably just gonna grab the lighter blue because it looks like a special type of looks like a special type of uh like it's almost like an image, it looks like. I'm not really sure. So for this out here, I gotta go to settings and then background color right here. And this is where I can paste in that blue. There we go. Go back to content, make sure I hit save. And right here, looks like, I'm just gonna delete that because there's a little bit of blue there that I don't want. And this one. Okay. All right, so looks like it is pretty close. Let me see if I could. I mean, very, very, very similar. So not bad for being able to duplicate exactly. Not exactly, but very, very close. I mean, if this was being sent, then you couldn't really tell much of a difference. But yeah, if you end up receiving like an email template that, that you really like, you can go row by row and pretty much almost to a T duplicate it exactly. You just got to go in there and kind of play with the settings a little bit. I didn't want to drag this out too much, but um, that's how you create a email template and duplicate another one.